Hey, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Beyond Chapter 3. And with Chapter 3, it came with a new type of grind. Something new for you to aspire to. Something that you're going to spend an awful lot of time in the same place doing to achieve something that you want. Now, we've all seen the Crusader, and one of the biggest redeeming features of the Crusader, and perhaps, perhaps the only redeeming feature of the Crusader, other than the fact that it looks the same as all the other Alliance ships that have been released, is that it's got a fighter bay. And with this fighter bay, there was released three Guardian hybrid fighters. We all saw them from Ramtar. Now, you've gone to the technology broker, you've had a look at the new small class one weapons. Your interest has indeed been piqued then at how much it's gonna cost you to have those Guardian fighters. Well, going down and you can see exactly what it's gonna cost you for a Javelin. Vessel blueprints, power cells, but in particular, Epsilon Obelisk data. That was something that I was lacking, amongst other things. So we got ourselves all the way over to that beacon. And again, we marveled at the graphics and the artwork that Frontier have put in to, to this set piece. I don't say this sarcastically. I think this is one of the best set pieces I've seen within the game. It's really on par there, I think, with the Thargoid base star map set piece that goes on. Anyway, we've gone in here, we've scanned the orb, we've got the ancient key, we've got ourselves over to a new guardian site, we've gone all around that guardian site, we've scanned everything, we've shot pylons, we've dodged the sentinels, done all that, and you're awarded that Guardian Vessel Blueprint. Now, as I've said in some of the videos, I already had that from a glitch, I think that would have happened back in chapter one, where I was afforded some of that for scanning some obelisks. But hey, not to worry. But do me a favor before we go any further, click that like and subscribe button and also ring that notification bell. And that notification bell will let you know if notifications are turned on, if you can get any more videos from me on Elite Dangerous when I release them. Anyway, back onto the task at hand. So. Obelisk data. Now, it's not something I've really gone after in the past, and, and that shows by the figures that I have. You know, I've got, I don't know, 25 of this, 25 of that, well, 25 of them all, really, because um, I really haven't pursued it. I haven't really pursued the Guardian weapons, but now these fighters are out yet. It's time to go out there and do a little bit of grinding of my own. So I've gone to one of the nearest bases. Um, that would have been on the star map. I had them all marked. If not, check out the Reddit. Uh, and some of the other cannon sites, they all point you directly to where the Guardian sites are to go and get some obelisk data. Get into your old SRV, find one. Now what I've done, I've gone away and I've, I've collected all the Guardian artifacts like urns and tablets and caskets and orbs and all that stuff, and I've got them in the ship. Now what I tend to do is I go over there, I make sure I've got um, whatever recipe the particular obelisk needs right and I've gone over and I've scanned it right and then you're awarded data now you haven't got to have these things in your cargo hold I just do I don't know why I do it I just do here I'm, I'm required to have two relics or two tablets two tablets sorry the tablets and the relics do look quite similar so two tablets so I've got two tablets in my cargo hold of the SRV and I'm scanning that um, if you've got the Ram Tower mission, it's a good way to get some, some, some data scans and to make a little bit of money. Okay, so um, that's generally why I do it. So I've scanned that, I've been awarded some additional data. Then what you can do is, you can either go back to your ship, take off, back for and land. Not subvert the system. Or what you can effectively do is, is you can go back to the main menu and then re-log on to the game. You'll appear exactly where you left off i.e. If, if you left off right in front of that guardian casket, then that's where you will reappear. You will scan the same guardian obelisk again, and you'll be awarded a random bit of data. Now it could be alpha, beta, epsilon, gamma, delta. You don't know, right? It's going to be random. So you're going to be in here for the long haul. Now, just because the fighters are asking for Epsilon data, not to say that all the work you put in now won't pay you dividend in future updates. For example, 
they may release something funky and sexy that might require alpha data. And then you'll think back to this video and think, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I went through the pain now and saved myself a little bit of a hassle, you know, later on in the game. That's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to spend some time here. I'm going to grind it away. Uh, you know, get some Epsilon data, Alpha data, going to get some Gamma data. Then I'm going to head on back to Founders and I'm going to see what these fighters are all about. Now, personally, I think these fighters are all right. I haven't been a great person or advocate of the fighters. Um, you know me, I bomb around in the crate, I bomb around in the Asp, and I bomb around in a Python. And all the rest of the ships, well, I'm just a tart for ships, as you know. Uh, so that's basically it. That's what you do. Go and find yourself a close guardian site. And there is one, and the one that I've got on the screen is, is about, oh god, I don't know, 120, 130 light years away from the planet um, Sanufi EU QC21 15. Um, 120 light years away from that, uh, you'll find one. And uh, that's the nearest Guardian site. This one particular planet, however, has two Guardian sites on it and a Guardian structure. So it's particularly fine in that respect. So if your mission is to go after those fighters, get Guardian tech and whatever, make a little bit of uh, little money on the artifacts you pick up from around these sites, then this could be the method for you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Ricardo. That's been my quick explanation for Reboot and Restart. We haven't done a lot of Reboot and Restarts lately. There's been a lot of No Man's Sky going on and updates going on and... Um, you know, generally people are finding their way in the game and as things change, I'm trying to adapt the series as they change. But I think this is quite important uh, of an easy way to get yourself around there and mine some Guardian data, some Guardian Obelisk data. So thanks for watching. Take care. Enjoy Chapter 3 and we'll see you all soon.